The kid blew it for us. He got a hat trick. Didn't you explain what was expected of him? I did, Mr. Roche. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. Kegel, fix the mistake. You understand. <laughs> Every one of them was a picture goal. I'll tell you something for me, the best. Nobody better than pros could be dying to get us. Give me a couple of minutes, Ed. Is everything okay? Yeah, sure. Meet you at the car. Okay. Okay. Willie. Where's Willie? supposed to score. I can't do that. I told him. No kid. They told you. He's the best there is. When he plays, they, there isn't any odds. They try to get him to miss shots, but he won't do it, so they go after him. Any pain? No, I swear I'm okay. The officer wouldn't let me get up till the doctor came. What about the man running after you? What man? I told you who it was. And it's all my fault. Those gamblers, those lousy crooks. I should have done something a long time ago. Now, who is after the kid? There's a new racket going on, Amos. Sometimes it starts with a coach who gives his players pep pills. Eventually, some of the kids graduate to the needle on their own. And then the mob gets involved. Play our way, kid, or we'll hold back the stuff. Only some kids don't play like Grady. Now, straight, Amos. The name of the man who marked him. Now, that's too big for me. I don't know things like that. Look under the money. Maybe you'll find the hood the syndicate hired. I'll hang on to this for you until after we make an arrest. Amos! Before he dies, or you'll be an accessory. Get dressed now. If the injuries weren't serious, you can go home. You all right? You know that there is no knowing 
how far that boy can go, he has got everything. He's got style, he's got versatility, he's got drive, he's got everything. Has your brother been acting strangely lately? Huh? You know his habits, his routine? Yeah, he, uh, he gets up, he uh, has his breakfast, he goes to school, he uh, studies, he practices, comes home, eats his dinner and goes to bed. You know his eating habits? Only the best. That kid's built like a wall. Does he stuff himself when he's depressed? What's going on, Doctor? You worried about his weight now? He's on amphetamines. What? Uppers, pep pills, speed, the stuff he shoots into his veins. <laughs> doctor, you're crazy. There are needle marks on both arms. He's past popping them into his mouth. No, no, you're wrong. Look, they take care of these kids. They, they're always giving them blood counts. They're giving them vitamin shots. That's where the marks come from. What's the matter? Do you want, do you want people out here to hear you? What's going on here? When we go in that room, I want you to look closely at your brother. Look at his eyes, the size of his pupils. That'll tell you what's going on. Hey, clumsy. Hey, I gotta get out of here. Sure. What's the matter? You seem nervous. I'm okay. But I won't be. Unless I get to the coach's skull session. I'm late already. Okay, okay, he's nervous, so what? Well, is it any wonder? He's got he's got bookies chasing him. They're trying to bribe him to blow games ever since he started his scoring streak. And now the open threats. May I have your arm, please? You're hooked. You know it, and I know it. You're a speed freak. Now, why don't you tell your brother the truth? It's okay. It's okay. You are just so used to seeing the bad, you cannot recognize a great kid, can you? What are you trying to do? You're trying to ruin him? You're trying to blow his whole future? Just get out. Get out. Will you please get out? and property ain't safe anymore. Everybody owns a gun today. They're so scared. <laughs> well, you know how it is, Ed. I mean, working for an insurance company and all. Yeah. You want to uh, keep it down, huh, Frank? Oh, yeah. Hey, I hear he had an argument with a car. Probably worrying about those bookmakers, eh? Oh, he's okay now. He's just trying to get a little sleep. sick to hear these pansies talking about taking away our right to protect ourselves and our families. If we don't do something, who will? Yeah. Uh, how much, Frank? Ah, forget it. I got three more. Hey, thanks a lot. You're a, you're a good man. I'm gonna line them up. They ought to line them up and then shoot them all down. That way we have some law and order. Yeah, I'll see you at the bowling. Uh, maybe. I, uh, I've got an appointment first. Huh. Okay. I'll see you. Yeah. tried to get me. Where were you, Willie? I was just some uh, new crowd trying to muscle in. I called you at the rink, but you were gone. Willie, I need you. I'm strung out. You want to meet? Want to. I need to. Now, don't fail me, Willie. Or I'll blow the whistle. I got nothing to lose. Okay? Same place. 
Six o'clock. Yeah, next to the arena. No, don't let me down. Always have a postmortem after the game. You, uh, you sure you're okay? You get out. Okay. Ed, wait a minute. Ed, if I turned out to be, well, if I wasn't the greatest guy in the world, would it break your heart? Hey, come on, what are you babbling about? You are great. Just ask anybody that goes to your games. Come on, listen to me. There's under the stands, and in the alleys, and dirt. Yeah, so? Nothing. I just can't be late for that meeting tonight, that's all. Now, look, at you change that face, and you listen to me. Now, the whole world can be lousy for everybody else, but I ain't never gonna let it go bad for the Grady's. Can you make the sun shine at night, Ed? Can I? Who was it that wiped your nose for you? Who was it that got you your first hockey stick when we didn't even have enough money to eat? You remember that? Huh? Okay. Six o'clock, the alley behind the rink. You got half an hour to set the kid up. Let me have it. This stuff. Laced with strychnine. He'll die quick and loud. And the message will get across to anybody else with big ideas. I won't lose him again, Mr. Rock. Eagle. If it doesn't happen to him this time, it happens to you. Yeah, what do you want? This is a lab report made on your brother at the hospital. Go on, look at it. How long has he been eating chocolate bars by the dozen? He gets wound down after the game. He gets wound down when he runs out of pills. Now, go on, read that. Now, my brother happens to be in perfect physical condition. He's a great athlete. He's going to be another Bobby Orr. Now, who knows better than I what he does and what he is? Well, that report doesn't know who your brother is. And the people who made those lab tests have no idea in the world who he is. And they say he has amphetamine residue in his system. My brother is 18. 18 is dumb. They want to try everything. They think they know everything. They see a stove, they want to touch it. 
All right, so what's wrong with my brother taking a nupper once in a while? Grady, open your eyes. He's hooked. He was looking for his pusher outside that arena. Someone was chasing him. If he goes back, they're going after him again. Why? Now, I told you that was the bookie. Now, my brother is trying to get some rest in there. He's going to be all right. Behind that door is either a kid who has another needle mark on his arm or a kid who is climbing the walls in agony. He's Emergency. Let me talk to Lieutenant Gordon. Roger, Doctor. I'll patch you through. Three Zebra One, there's a patch call on channel 27. Go ahead. Jack? Bill Grady slipped out before I could get to him. His brother slugged me and went after him. I think he may be armed. The kid, I think, is looking for his pusher. I can see his pusher across the street right now. Call in an APB on both Grady's and tell Locke where we are. Police officer, mister. Just come with me, do as you're told, nobody gets hurt. against the wall, hands on top of your head. Let's just take one last look in here, shall we? Well, you're pushing Bill Grady. Grady? Who's Grady? He left to meet you 10 minutes ago, and his house is five minutes away, and he hasn't shown yet. That means you've set him up again. Where? This man, I'll settle. Uh, possession, the max. Uh, I'll take it. Alan, I'm losing my touch. He's not afraid of me. I don't want any witnesses, because this is going to get very loud. Now, listen. Wait! Smart move. The alley. By the rink. Cuff him and book him. And that thing at the arena was a mistake. Forget the gun. I didn't want you running out of here screaming. Go on, have a party. Bill? 
Bill. Don't take that. That's laced with strychnine. Jack. It's those gamblers. That's all. He's not one of them. Ed! I'm a speed freak! Shut up, you don't know! It's gonna be all right. And if you let me go home, my brother will still love me and take care of me and lie to himself about me while I'm climbing out of windows to meet more pushers. Will you sign yourself over to our care? Yes. Yes. Please. Yes. This will help until we get you to the treatment center. Bill, when did you see Roach and where? I saw him at the arena once. Came to a game. Willie was there and some other men. Give him a hand. Hey, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Doctor? He is still a kid. Yeah, a kid in trouble. Well, what do you want? What do you need? Just help, Ed. That's all. It's all over for him. It's all over. No, Ed, he just said the magic word. Help. Doctor, can I ride along with him? We're still brothers, aren't we? Yeah, go on in. <laughs> 